What time is it? It's time to laugh. Time to speak some truth. And you know I always keep it real. This your girl Jen, and this is Real Talk with Jen. Hey everyone, this is Jen, and this is Real Talk with Jen. So today is Martin Luther King Day. Yes, it is a great day. As an African American, one of the people we look up to is Martin Luther King Jr. because of the wonderful and tremendous impact he had on the country and the impact he still has. Um, not saying, you know, what he did it helped end like racism, but it kind of broke down a wall so that, you know, we can come together because the world is a better place without division. With all that being said, he had a dream and he acted on his dream. There's a lot of us in this world who have dreams and we just keep sleeping and keep dreaming. And we don't really act on our dreams. Um, Martin Luther King is a good example of how if you have a dream and you really feel like this dream is something that needs to happen, you need to push for this dream and make it happen. Don't let them just stay dreams. You need to actually put in effort to make that dream come true. I have dreams. I have goals that I want to achieve. And, you know, thinking back on my life, I mean, I'm only 25, but still, that's a long time. Kind of. Anyway, thinking back on my life, you know, I've taken a long break from following my dreams. Um, the last couple years, I haven't really been living my dreams. I haven't really been pursuing my dreams. I've just been living life and um, living life the logical way. Like, oh, I have bills. I have to work a steady job so I can pay my bills. Not saying I don't love the life that I'm living, but it's not my dream this year I'm gonna try to pursue my dreams more um, instead of just living and going with the flow because only dead fish go with the flow I'm not dead I'm gonna actually try to step out of my comfort zone and actually try to pursue my dreams try to make things happen not just sit and wait for things to happen because that's not how things happen they're not just gonna drop into your lap you actually have to go out and step out of your comfort zone. And the thing is, you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. And that is something that I struggle with a lot. <laughs> I really like to stay in my comfort zone. Um, but lately, you know, I've been trying to step out. Look, I have red hair and bangs. Like, stepping out of your comfort zone. But when you step out, you need to be confident when you step out because that's the only way you can succeed if you're confident. If you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> you're not gonna go anywhere. So continue to dream, but don't just let your dreams be dreams. Try to go for your dreams. Try to make your dreams happen. Let's just think about Martin Luther King and his dream about how he wanted all races to come together and to be unified. We've come a long way but we still have a long way to go. The journey is not over. Um, there are still people in this world that don't see everyone as equal, which kind of makes me mad, but we are all equal. We all bleed the same blood. It's all red. We are literally equal. The only thing that's different is that some of us are darker, some of us are lighter. Some of us come from different countries in different parts of the world but we are all equal so just remember that let's keep Martin Luther King's dream alive as well as our own dreams
This is Real Talk with Jen, and I'm out. Bye!